All right, hi, I'm Greg from Revitech, and I'm here to show the Revitech Altian. Uh, it's an advanced alternator regulator, and uh, we have two models here. We have the base model, which is the Altian, and it essentially does one alternator, one battery bank. Uh, and then we have the Max version, which uh, has this awesome screen on it. So if you're doing an installation, you're kind of down in the engine bay, you can see exactly what's going on with the unit without having to bring out your phone or a laptop. Uh, and it also supports uh, two alternators and two battery banks. Now those can be the same voltage, anywhere from 12 to 48 volts. So you can have essentially two alternators charging the same bank, or you can have different voltages as well. So if you're running a 12 volt system and a 48 volt system, you can have this one unit charge those two independently. So uh, pretty innovative features there. Uh, with batteries, we'll work essentially any battery chemistry. This is a lithium ion, but we'll also do AGM as well. Um, one of the differentiators of our product is we look at voltage, current, and temperature. And so uh, the key there is really the current. And we use that data in order to know when to move the battery from one charging stage to the next. So the benefit of that is much longer battery life. Uh, one of the key reasons why AGM batteries in particular tend to die early is they're not charged properly through the alternator. And so what we can do is essentially mimic what an inverter charger would do, like a shore, a shore power charger. And we can do that with the alternator so the battery gets exactly what it needs in order to stay healthy uh, and safe as well. Uh, speaking of alternators, we're alternator agnostic. Uh, this happens to be a Balmar uh, 12 volt model, but we'll work ag again with anything from 12 to 48 volts. Uh, and uh, we will make sure that alternator stays nice and cool. Uh, when you're out there, particularly charging a lithium battery system, alternators can heat up pretty quickly and it's important that we stay within that temperature envelope to keep the alternator safe over a long-term period of time. Uh, a new feature that we're announcing at the show has to do with connectivity. So you can see here, this is a Serbo GX display. Uh, and right now we use a CAN bus connection uh, using N2K in order to communicate both to the Serbo. So you can see the alternator readout here. Uh, so when you're underway, the alternator power will show up on the Victron display. And then we're also using the Serbo in order to give battery data to uh, the device as well. So we're using the CAN bus in order to essentially share data between these two devices. So if you have a Victron battery system, we're fully compatible with that. Uh, one last thing I mentioned is that we have long range connectivity to the product so you can monitor it uh, through any phone, laptop, or tablet. You can see it's connected here to a tablet. Uh, this is our iPad, and you can see the readout here, nice and big numbers. You can see graphs as far as the history of the various readouts, uh, and it indicates right on top that we're CAN bus connected. So that means that the Victron unit and the Altian are speaking together. Uh, we will take the battery data here. So everything that you see below here on the batteries is coming straight from Victron. Uh, so that makes for a much easier setup, as well as making sure that these data are shared across all the different devices on the boat. So that's all I got for you today. Thanks for uh, taking a look at Revitech.